Number 22, dancing. Now, dancing has been interesting. So since I was a kid, I always loved to dance. I always loved to express myself, but I was always like scared somehow that, oh, my body is not good enough. I don't look good when I dance. I'm stiff. I'm moving like a robot, like a machine. I'm not smooth. I'm, I'm not able to move my body in a sensual way. So I was afraid. I would just dance on my own. But more recently, through all of these things that I'm teaching you, right? The self-expression, the getting the, the, the natural food on point, the sleep, the confidence, right? Having relationships with people that, that you love and, and, and cherish, that has allowed me to really open up in my dancing. Now when I go to dance class, I am fully myself. I'm not, you know, I'm not caring about what the teacher thinks or what the students think or what he thinks or she thinks. It doesn't matter because I'm having so much fun in my own body, in my own breathing, that that love for moving my body and loving my body overpowers all the other insecurities. And that's what you got to realize. It's the difference between fear and love. The love of something can always overpower the fear of something. So if you have the fear of dancing or the fear of what other people will say about your body, then you have to replace that with the love for your body. And the way you do that is by following what I'm telling you and by fixing your health. 